I am buzzing for these new sedans coming in 2025. We're actually starting the list with a Kia. The Kia K4 is a completely fresh face in the Kia lineup, aiming to replace the current Kia Forte. Sitting just below the larger K5 sedan, the K4 will feature a sleek fastback roofline, inspired by the bigger sister, the Kia Stinger, with wide rear fenders and a youthful, athletic vibe that really grows on you. The base engine is a 147 horsepower, 2-liter, 4-cylinder engine, driving the front wheels through a continuously variable automatic transmission, or CVT. Sound familiar? That's because it's the same setup you'd find on the current 2024 Kia Forte. So if you're craving something with a bit more oomph, consider upgrading to the new 190 horsepower, turbocharged, 1.6 liter engine found on the GT Line Turbo Trim. A classic 8-speed automatic transmission and a more advanced multi-link rear suspension completes the setup of the GT Line Turbo Trim. The other K4 models stick with a torsion beam setup, but the GT Line Turbo will definitely add a little extra fun to drive and a smoother and better handling. As of now, we don't know the 0 to 60 times of this new 190 horsepower engine, the official fuel economy numbers, or any real world MPG results. The current Kia Forte, with the same 147 horsepower, 2 liter, 4 cylinder, reaches 60 miles per hour from a standstill in about 8.7 seconds. So we should expect similar numbers from the K4. As for the more powerful, 190 horsepower engine, it should do 0 to 60 in about 8 seconds. But we'd have to wait until the fall of 2024 when the K4 reaches the dealerships in the US to confirm these estimates. The more handsome hatchback variant of the K4 will test our patience even more, since it'll be released later in 2025 or even in 2026. The interior of the Kia K4 is clean and fresh. If you take a close look at the official photos, you might notice that it borrows a few style cues from Kia's EV9 electric flagship SUV, giving some high-tech future vibes. However, despite the trend towards digital everything in the auto industry, the K4 thankfully keeps some physical buttons for controls, which is a nice touch for those of us who appreciate that tactile experience. The steering wheel in the K4 stands out too, with a unique two-spoke design and an offset Kia logo, setting it apart from other models in the lineup. As for the tech, the K4 doesn't disappoint. The center infotainment setup features a 5-inch display for climate controls and twin 12.3-inch screens for the instrument panel and main touchscreen. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard on all models. Now let's talk money. The 2025 K4 has a starting price of about 23K, which can go up to almost 30K. There are five trims in total, but the top-of-the-line GT Line Turbo looks the best, especially considering its comfortable pricing of just under 30K. For this money, you get the most powerful turbocharged engine, the upgraded suspension, and the better 8-speed automatic. It's a sweet deal. As you all might have heard, Audi announced some quite dramatic changes to their car lineup. The A5, which used to be the sportier sibling of the A4, is getting a complete makeover. The A5 coupe and convertible versions are gone forever, as the 2025 A5 will be a four-door only model, taking over as the full replacement for the gas-powered A4 sedan. This is part of Audi's new brand strategy to clearly separate their gas and electric models. Gas cars will now have odd-numbered badges, while the EVs get even numbers. So we could refer to the new 2025 model as the A5 sedan, which is set to be longer, wider, and taller than the current A5 Sportback, with a stretched wheelbase that should allow for more space in the rear seats and a roomier trunk. Under the hood of the new Audi A5 sedan, you'll find a 268 horsepower, 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine paired with a 48-volt hybrid system and driving all four wheels through a DSG dual-clutch transmission. Meanwhile, the upcoming S5 will get a promising V6 hybrid, though Audi hasn't shared all the specifics just yet. Audi's also bragged about a stiffer chassis and steering mounts as standard, but also adaptive dampers, a torque vectoring rear differential, and a sport suspension as available options. If you're feeling nostalgic, don't worry. The current A5 Sportback and A4 sedan will still be available as 2025 models, sold alongside the new A5 sedan, until the A4 eventually phases out. Yes, it might get a bit confusing, but if you prefer the old Sportback model, you'll still be able to get one, with the old turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, either in the 40 configuration with 201 horsepower or in the 45 trim with 261 horsepower. As for 0 to 60 times, they're not public yet. However, considering that the current A4 45 goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds, we can expect something similar from the new 2025 A5 sedan. Inside the cabin, the new A5 will feature a large curved display featuring 11.9-inch instrument panel and a 14.5-inch infotainment touchscreen. 
The passenger on the right could also benefit from an optional 10.9-inch rectangular screen. The price of the 2025 Audi A5 sedan and Sportback is expected to start at around $47,225, with the top-end models going up to $57,000, depending on the trim and the options you choose. Audi's announced that German customers can start placing their orders in July 2024, but the official international launch is scheduled for November 2024. The Civic has been a champion of practicality, value, and fun driving dynamics for years. And 2025 brings some new exciting news to the beloved nameplate, including fresh styling updates and a new hybrid variant. The Civic Hybrid now pairs a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with two electric motors, delivering a combined 200 horsepower and an impressive fuel efficiency of up to 49 miles per gallon combined. For the non-hybrid models, there's now just one engine option, a 150-horsepower, 2-liter, 4-cylinder. While it may not be the most thrilling engine, it's still very efficient. The Civic is available in both sedan and hatchback styles, and no matter which you pick, you'll enjoy agile handling and a smooth, balanced ride. In performance tests, the hybrid Civic impresses with a quick 0-60 time of just 6.2 seconds, while the non-hybrid takes up slower 8.8 .8 seconds. From behind the wheel, you get a familiar look with a full-width honeycomb pattern mesh that hides the air vents and a sleek dashboard with clean lines. All models come standard with heated seats, a sunroof, and dual-zone climate control. Prices for the 2025 Civic start just above the 23000 mark, with the top-of-the-line Sport Touring Hybrid hatchback estimated to go up to around 33000 But if you're looking for something even more exciting, the Civic Si is where you want to be. The Si is powered by a 200-horsepower, turbocharged, 1.5-liter inline-four engine, paired with a 6-speed manual transmission. Even though that's slightly less power than rivals like the Golf GTI or the Elantra N, the Si's sub-30 $30,000 starting price makes it a serious contender. Plus, the SI comes loaded with standard features, with just one option to choose from, the paint color. Everything else you need is already included. And of course, when someone says Fun Civic, you think about the Type R. But that's a completely different kind of animal, making 315 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 310 pound-feet of torque between 2,600 and 4,000 RPM. The Type R can bolt to 60 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds and reach that quarter-mile mark in 13.5 seconds at 106 miles per hour. And on top of all these, it's an absolute grip monster. For having fun at the track and on short commutes, why not? Usually, new cars cost more, right? But Mazda's here to shake things up with their 2025 Mazda 3, which is actually getting cheaper. The sleek Mazda 3 sedan now starts at $25,135 for the base 2.5S trim, $220 less than last year. And if you're eyeing the hatchback, you're in for an even sweeter deal. It's dropped by a cool $740, bringing the price to $26,135 for the same trim. But before you get too excited, there is a little catch. All Mazda 3 hatchbacks are now $300 more expensive across the board, topping out at $38,135 for the fully loaded Turbo Premium Plus. Still, the rest of the lineup holds steady, like the Select Sports Sedan, which kicks off at $25,875. And Mazda's throwing in some extra goodies this time around, too. You'll get Amazon Alexa built in, so you can adjust in-vehicle settings using voice commands. You can even control your smart devices at home while still in the car. They also added the Mazda Online Navigation system, which should provide more accurate directions thanks to over-the-air updates. Under the hood, you've got two engine choices, a 191-horsepower 2.5-liter 4-cylinder paired with a smooth 6-speed automatic or a turbocharged 2.5-liter pumping out 250 horsepower and a hefty 320 pound-feet of torque. The turbo model comes with all-wheel drive, while the other versions stick with front-wheel drive as standard. The turbocharged engine manages a nice 5.6-second run to 60 miles per hour, while keeping it steady and athletic on twisty roads as well. It's a nice ride overall. The hatchback should hit the dealerships this summer, with the sedans following closely behind in early fall. In the first quarter of 2024, Jetta was Volkswagen's third best-selling model, with a whopping 185% jump in sales. And the German manufacturer is looking to keep that serious momentum going. They're giving the Jetta and its sporty sibling the Jetta GLI a fresh new look, new upgraded features, and a price tag that won't break the bank in 2025. So what's new for 2025? The Jetta's got a sharper vibe going on, 
slimmer headlights, a thinner upper grille, and a lot of cool LED light bars in there. The back end's revamped too, with taillights now connected by a full-width light and updated bumpers. The SE trim rolls on fresh 17-inch wheels, while the SEL and GLI step it up with new 18-inch wheels. There are also two new color options to choose from, Monterey Blue Pearl and Monument Gray. Inside, VW has given the Jetta's dashboard a slick makeover, adding three slats that blend into the air conditioning vents and a new floating display that's now 8 inches across the board. No more 6.5 inch screens. Dual zone automatic climate control is now standard. The SE, SEL, and GLI versions even come with a 15 watt wireless charging pad that's got built in cooling. No more fumbling for cords or worrying about overheating iPhones. Under the hood, you got a turbocharged 1.5 liter inline four engine, pushing out 158 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque through an 8 speed automatic transmission. We don't have the latest performance numbers yet, but the current Jetta, with this setup, can hit 60 miles per hour in about 7.2 seconds. That's not too shabby. But if you're craving something spicier, get the Jetta GLI. It packs a turbocharged 2 liter inline four engine, cranking out 228 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque, and you get to choose between a 6 speed manual or a 7 speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Plus, the GLI comes loaded with performance goodies like bigger brakes, a limited slip differential, adaptive dampers, and a sportier exhaust to make every drive an adventure. Safety's a priority too with all Jettas, including the GLI, coming standard with Volkswagen's IQ Drive system. This includes a suite of driver assistance features like automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, and lane keeping assist. Pricing for the full lineup isn't out yet, but we do know the base Jetta S will start at $23,220. The Ionic 6 is an all-electric beauty that's making waves in the market with its sleek, futuristic design and mind-blowing EPA-estimated range of up to 361 miles. Built on the same platform as the Ionic 5 SUV, the Ionic 6 offers a range of powertrains that mirror its siblings' options. The base model gives you 149 horsepower with a single electric motor driving the rear wheels. If you step up to the long range version, that power jumps to 225 horses. And for those who want a little extra oomph, the dual motor 320 horsepower version comes with all wheel drive and a bigger battery. With a low center of gravity, the Ionic 6 hugs those corners nicely, while the steering wheel paddles let you tweak the regenerative braking on the go. In early tests, the long range rear wheel drive model rockets from 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds, while the all wheel drive version turns it up a notch, hitting the mark in just 4.3 seconds. And let's talk range, because the Ionic 6 definitely delivers. The 2025 long-range rear-wheel drive version can take you up to 361 miles on a single charge, while the standard range rear-wheel drive models still boast a respectable 240 miles. Inside, the Ionic 6 feels like a five-star hotel lounge, with plenty of room to stretch out your legs and relax. Hyundai has gone above and beyond to make the cabin as quiet as a library, using multiple layers of soundproofing. The center dashboard is dominated by two 12.3-inch screens, a digital gauge cluster, and an infotainment display. The price for the SE standard range trim is $38,900, and it can go as high as $52,150 if you want the limited trim. The 2025 Toyota Camry is looking better than ever, with a fresh new design and some exciting upgrades under the hood. The beloved midsize family sedan now offers not one, but two hybrid powertrains to choose from. The front-wheel drive version pairs a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with two electric motors to crank out a solid 225 horsepower. If you go for the all-wheel drive model, you'll get a third motor driving the rear axle, boosting the total output to 232 ponies. Both setups come with a smooth, continuously variable automatic transmission. As for speed, the 2025 Camry with all-wheel drive can hit 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds, which is quicker than its predecessor. While the EPA is still working on the official fuel economy numbers, Toyota's estimating that this new Camry hybrid would deliver between 44 and 51 miles per gallon, depending on the trim and powertrain you go with. As for pricing, the 2025 Camry starts at just over $25,000 for the base LE trim. But if you're eyeing the top-of-the-line XSE version, with all the bells and whistles, you're looking at just under $36,000. The 2025 BMW 5 Series is one of the best mid-size luxury sedans out there right now. It sits in a sweet spot in BMW's lineup, between the sporty 3 Series and the super luxurious 7 Series. Perfect for commuting in style or hitting the open road, 
The 5 Series delivers with plush sheets front and back and a high-end dashboard loaded with what seems like acres of digital displays. Under the hood, the 530i kicks things off with a turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, packing 255 horsepower. But if you're craving more power, you can step it up to the 540i, which comes with a turbocharged inline 6 and 375 horsepower, both boosted by a 48-volt hybrid system. There's also a plug-in hybrid, the 550e, which brings a whopping 483 horsepower to the table, courtesy of an inline 6 engine paired with an electric motor. Plus, it's got a 19.4 kilowatt hour battery that should give you about 40 miles of pure electric driving per charge. And did we mention that all wheel drive is standard on everything except the base model? Performance wise, the 530i X Drive can hit 60 miles per hour in a solid 5.5 seconds. The 540i shaves that down to 4.5 seconds, and the 550e takes it to a whole new level, doing it in just 4 seconds. Inside, the 5 Series is all about comfort and luxury. There's plenty of room for you to stretch out and enjoy all the smart touches, like the hidden air vents that blend seamlessly into the dashboard, the genuine leather or BMW's vegan-friendly leather alternative known as Veganza. All trims come with a tilt-and-slide sunroof as standard, but you can also opt for a larger fixed glass roof that extends into the rear seat area. Ventilated seats with power adjustments and massage as well as a power rear sunshade and an interior camera are also available as optional features. The centerpiece is a stunning curved digital panel that blends a 12.3-inch reconfigurable gauge display with a 14.9-inch infotainment touchscreen, just like on the 7 Series or the iX SUV. Standard features include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a Harman Kardon stereo system, and a video game system called Air Console, which can only be used when the car is parked. Audi continues their e-tron electric vehicle lineup by adding the A6. This sleek sedan is aiming high with a target driving range of over 400 miles per charge, making it a serious contender in the EV world. It comes in three main power configurations, a 362 horsepower electric motor driving the rear wheels in the base trim, a dual motor setup delivering 422 horsepower in the Quattro trim, and an S6 e-tron version that should make a whopping 543 horsepower. Audi claims the A6 e-tron can sprint to 62 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds, while the Quattro version shaves that down to a brisk 4.3 seconds. Plenty fast for an electric luxury sedan if you ask us. Unlike the traditional gas-powered A6, the A6 e-tron sports a hidden hatchback under its sloped rear roofline, or sportback as Audi likes to call it. This design trick not only looks nice, but it also hides a spacious cargo area, similar to what you'd find in the A7. Step inside and you'll find a cabin packed with high-end infotainment features, top-tier materials, and enough space to keep four adults comfortable on long road trips. The cabin is dotted with screens, making sure you're always connected and in control. But the real star is the panoramic glass roof, which can switch from transparent to opaque with the press of a button, thanks to some seriously cool polymer-dispersed liquid crystal technology. As for pricing, we expect the 2025 A6 e-tron to start at around $80,000, with prices climbing to $100,000 or more, depending on the trim and the options you choose. Probably the most exciting luxury sedan under 45000 the BMW 2 Series delivers a pure driving experience like no other nameplate in its price range. It comes in two engine configurations, the 230i and the M240i, both available with either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The 230i packs a punch with its 255 horsepower turbocharged inline-4, the same engine you'll find in the Toyota Supra 2.0. If you're looking for even more thrill, the M240i steps it up with a 300 182 horsepower turbocharged inline six. While the M240i isn't a full-blown M car, it's an M Sport variant that brings plenty of excitement. Both models make the most of their compact size and peppy engines to turn your daily drive into something way more fun. For 2025, BMW is bringing some cool upgrades to the table. The latest iDrive 8.5 infotainment system is on board, complete with a few extra goodies, like updated interior ambient lighting. On the outside, you've got two new metallic paint options, Vegas Red and Skyscraper Gray. And if you've been eyeing that Zandvoort Blue that was exclusive to the M2, good news, it's now available for the M240i too. Plus, there are new 19-inch wheel designs to choose from. Inside, the updates keep coming. The 230i gets a new two-spoke steering wheel, while the M240i comes standard with a new M-leather flat-bottom wheel, which is also an option for the 230i. The M240i also gets standard brushed aluminum trim with the option to upgrade to carbon fiber. 
While both models offer open pour wood trim for a more classic look, BMW's Live Cockpit Plus system is standard across the 2 Series lineup, featuring a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster paired with a 14.9-inch touchscreen infotainment display. You'll also get a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 10-speaker stereo system. But if you're serious about sound, you can upgrade to the 14-speaker, 464-watt Harman Kardon system. And when it comes to performance, the numbers don't lie. The 230i can sprint from 0 to 60 in just 5.1 seconds, finishing the quarter mile in 13.7 seconds at 101 miles per hour. But if you're driving the M240i, you'll be hitting 60 miles per hour in a blistering 3.6 seconds. Not bad for a daily driver!